Hello, welcome to our weekly reflection for the 15th week of Ordinary Time. We are fast approaching the end of July. I thought I would start this morning with the penitential act. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred words. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all for the faith they profess or are counted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel today is from the Tuesday Mass readings. It is uh, Matthew 11, 20-24. Then he began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chosron, woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until the day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. How often do we hear about the cozy and the cuddly Jesus? who carries the sheep on his shoulders and embraces the little children with tenderness. And that truly he is. But Monday's and Tuesday's reading this week from the Gospel of Matthew give us the grumpy Jesus. Like all of us, I'm sure there are many facets to him. In the passages from Matthew, he speaks forcefully because he knows what is at stake. His words sound harsh. He comes to bring the sword and division among family members. He reproaches the towns. He warns them that it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than it will be for them. And the land of Sodom had done some pretty bad things. This must have been very difficult for the twelve to hear. Yet they may have already experienced it as they followed Jesus around the Galilean region and found the life of a disciple quite challenging. Every day they made a radical choice to follow him. And this is our choice. Our choice is much the same today as it was for the Twelve. Jesus doesn't want fence setters. He wants followers. Just as it was for the Twelve, the consequences of following Jesus are not always pleasant. We could be judged, or maybe an obstacle could arise between us and those we love. But when these moments happen, we must remember what is at stake and to decide whom we will follow. For us to follow Christ as the disciples did may require a certain death to self. We may have to give up something. Maybe a change to our comforts and conveniences. 
or maybe a lifestyle or an attitude change. But through these changes, these struggles, new life arises. The heart of Christ will be formed by each one of us as we suffer as well as rejoice. And we will be in him and with him as we are formed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to be your faithful and consoling disciples through the testimony of life. Grant that we may not be a condemning judge or anyone, but rather remain hopeful that your grace can reach the most unexpected places, the most unexpected people. And Lord, we offer this in your most holy name. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.